I've split up with my wife. We have two children, Peter nine and Dimitri, he's five. We went to mediation because Ivana is insisting on taking them abroad to Lithuania to visit her family for a holiday. My family there haven't seen the children since they were little babies. Ivana doesn't have any family over here. They're all in Lithuania. I was scared that she'd take them away and I'd never see them again. The children told me they want to stay here. They don't want to go to Lithuania. The children told me they wanted to spend some time with our Lithuanian family. A lot of people would miss them. Uh, my family, my mother, she helps out quite a bit and looks after them. And I look after them too. I'm self-employed, I'm a plumber, so I can choose my work hours. At the first mediation session, the mediator could see the conflict between us. She realised how scared I was of losing the children permanently. Well, I'm not happy with how things have turned out either, but I'm not a child abductor. The mediator asked Ivana questions about her intentions for the future. It made it easier for me to judge what was on her mind. I was less scared of her running off with the kids. The mediator made me realise I needed to listen to my children and really hear what they wanted. So we both decided to bring them in to meet the mediator. When the children met the mediator, they said that they wanted to stay in the UK with people they love, with their friends and the things they know. They don't speak much Lithuanian. It made me feel a great responsibility towards them to help them fulfil their hopes and wishes for the future. Ivana agreed that the kids needed to live in the UK. I don't feel so worried now. He's even agreed to let me take them to Lithuania on the next school holiday. But he still wants to control all the details, the timing of it, etc. And I still want to be able to speak to them every day on the phone. And I still want to put together a detailed child plan and present that to court as a consent order. Mediation has helped us and the children to negotiate what we need. It's early days, but I think there's more trust between us now. It's helped us both get what we want. We plan to arrange more mediation sessions so that we can sort out our financial situation before the divorce. The main issues I wanted to discuss during mediation were things like short-term finances to help me get through the interim period before divorce proceedings. Also things like childcare arrangements, who's going to spend time with our children. For example, how many days would I get to spend with my kids and also for my ex-partner. Uh, other things like joint bank accounts, very important to know how we deal with situations with payments, whether to set up another account itself or to continue with that, that was also very important to, to clarify. Pension provisions, um, of course, things like the family home. If we sell our home, for me and my ex-partner, it's important to know once we go through the sale, who is going to get what assets financially. So, In our first mediation session, the mediator helped to set the agenda. Um, and basically what that was, was child care arrangements, um, our short-term finances and the financial disclosure. We agreed on various points. Shared care arrangements. It's important for me to spend time with my kids, naturally, as well as my partner, and for also for them to see their grandparents. So we agreed on those points. Grandparent time. Also, our joint bank account. We've actually arranged to set up a new bank account for us, for our children. So whenever we take the kids out, we take money only from that bank account, we put money into that account. So it's totally separate to previous accounts. So this is something we cleared up during the first session. We also agreed that Rob would continue to pay the mortgage on the, on the family home and I would pay all the household bills. We also filled out the financial disclosure um, because we had all the documentation with us. The only things we didn't have were any documentation for our pension, so that's the only thing that was left outstanding. During our second mediation session, we came to the agreement that the care arrangements for our kids were working really, really well. 
We completed the financial disclosure. Uh, I'm continuing to pay the mortgage, which is actually cheaper than Beth and the kids living in rented accommodation. We also discussed if Rob was going to retain a percentage of the family house, which he would get back if I remarried or when the children were a lot older. Now, we didn't agree on either a clean break settlement or a spousal maintenance, but the mediator did advise us to, to get really good legal advice, which we did. And we managed to sort out everything. Um, unfortunately, we didn't need mediation after that, so mediation worked really, really well for both of us.